Upon Tudor Jones is a hedge fund manager famous for his global macro trades. He is the founder of the hedge fund Tudor Investment Corporation and was ranked as the 108th richest American and 345th richest in the world in 2014. He started working on the trading floors as a clerk and then became a broker in his early days. Jones is famous for predicting the Black Monday in 1987 during which he tripled his money on his large short positions. Jones previously served as a director of the Future Industry Association and played a big part in the creation and development of the association's education arm based in Washington DC which was later renamed as the Institute for Financial Markets. Jones is famous for following a contrarian approach and he tries to buy and sell stocks at turning points. He keeps on trying a trading idea until he changes his mind fundamentally otherwise he keeps cutting his position size. This meant he is at the core of his trading style and Jones never thinks about what he might make on a given trade but only what he may lose. Let's look at some of the timeless trading lessons that Jones had shared, many of which would be very relevant for investors even in this time. Don't be a hero. Don't have an ego. Always question yourself and your ability. It is important for an investor to learn to leave her egos out of work. As soon as one starts feeling comfortable and believe that one has got everything under control, there's the time she would falter. We should accept that he can never be in full control of the stock market. The only thing one can control are own actions and how he can best react to changing market conditions. Be in control of your actions and first and foremost, always protect your butt. We should be in full control of their own actions as they are the only ones fully responsible for their success or failure in the market. An investor should define his own trading rules and is disciplined by sticking with them. No training or classroom can prepare you for trading. One may undergo a lot of training and education on how to achieve success in the stock market, but the best lessons can be learned only by trading in the market. No matter how good one prepared himself to anticipate every move in the market, there will be many surprises in store which they may not have predicted. The most important rule of trading is to play great defense, not offense. Investors should focus most of their attention on playing a defensive strategy while trading. Most novice traders are anxious to trade all the time and try to follow an offensive strategy. They keep on looking for potential good trades and make the mistake of entering them way too soon without having a real trading plan. John says we should realize that there are and always be a lot of great opportunities in the stock market and there is no need to rush into a trade without having the trading plan ready. The first thing an investor needs to do is control and manage her risk and form an exit strategy for every trade. One should never risk too much of capital because the market can spring a surprise anytime. When I trade, I don't just use a price stop, I also use a time stop. In order to properly manage risk, traders should use stop losses in a trading strategy. Stop losses trigger sale orders when a stock hits a certain price to protect the investor from losing too much money. Another great stop loss can be to use a time stop loss. With a time stop, you can set a specific time frame for a move to happen and when it doesn't, you cut your position no matter if you are taking a loss or are in a small profit. The stock isn't acting the way as you expected, so there is no reason to keep your money in it. Learn from your mistakes to improve yourself and grow into the future. Investors are bound to make tons of mistakes in their trading journey. But the good thing about making mistakes is that it gives one an opportunity to learn from them. You always want to be with whatever the predominant trend is. It is natural for investors to always want to follow the overall market trend while trading in the stock. So Jones says one should not argue with this trend as the odds are greatly in their favor while trading in the same direction as the market. After a while size means nothing. Why should have a clear trading strategy and follow her trading plans irrespective of the size of her investment. Why should begin with a small amount at the start so that she can learn how to handle her trading account after which one can 
slowly start increasing the size of this investment. At the end of the day, your job is to buy what goes up and to sell what goes down. To be successful in trading, all traders need to do is buy stocks that will go up and sell them at higher prices. In the same way, they should short stocks that are falling and buy them back at a lower price. Traders should keep things simple and understand that this is their main objective for which they need to learn how to identify the stocks that are going to make a move. Every day I assume every position I have is wrong. It is human nature to search for confirmation after making a decision which is called a confirmation bias and in trading this means traders would start looking for information to confirm a trade. But Jones advises traders to do the opposite and assume that the trade that they are planning to execute is wrong and should look for evidence against it. Only when one can't convince herself that she is really wrong on a position should she become confident that she holds a good trade.